This negotiation tactic that's taught by so many is an absolute lie. It is wrong. If you're using this negotiation tactic to try to get a better deal on anything, I don't care if it's real estate or not, then you're missing out on a lot of deals. Here's the big lie. The big lie is he who names the number first loses. Absolute nonsense. Contrary to how I used to do it by letting the, my counterpart in a negotiation name the number first. What is price anchoring? It's really simple. Recently, I was talking to my wife and wanted to buy a boat. I said, honey, there are a lot of boats for sale. One million, two million dollars. Oh my God. Jim, that's crazy. Yeah, but guess what? There's this one available for $50,000. Now all of a sudden, 15 grand doesn't sound that expensive. It works the other way. Hey, what do you want to sell your used car for? Instead of asking them that question, you'll say, hey, I'll pay you $2,000 for your $10,000 car. I'll pay $2,000 for your car. That's ridiculous. That's an insult. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll come up to $7,000. Guess what? That low anchor of a low price got the $7,000 offer not to seem so ridiculous. Obviously, you've got to do this right. There's a lot more to it, but price anchoring is a great way to get a great deal. It's a great negotiation tactic.